The coronavirus has had a tremendous effect on the UK economy already. There are businesses liquidating even as we speak. And over the next few weeks, many more will follow suit. Although the government is doing its best to support the economy, it isn't necessarily getting through to where it is needed. And the way in which they're doing it isn't necessarily the best way to actually make sure that the economy emerges from this crisis intact. The government's walking a tightrope at the moment, balancing between actually protecting people's health and protecting the health of the economy. They put a tremendous amount of money into the economy. Loans, uh, support for employment, 80% furlough, for example, uh, the possibility of grants to businesses in the hospitality sector, and the Bank of England have put £200 billion into the banking sector to help support business loans. The problem is that a lot of these mechanisms don't actually work. The banking, for example, uh, in the financial crisis of 2008, uh, simply is repeating what happened then. The uh, banks themselves are asking for directors to give personal guarantees in addition to the indemnity that they've received from the Bank of England. So that money is not really available to people because, uh, first of all, the bureaucracy is too great, but also those personal guarantees mean that business people have to put their entire lives on the line, the house, the car, etc. And they would probably rather liquidate the business than do that. So if they're not careful, businesses will disappear in the next few weeks, never to return, and the economy will not be in a fit state to reboot when the crisis is over. The furlough scheme, of course, doesn't work very well either, uh, in the sense that it does support people out of work, but it encourages people to be laid off rather than to be kept on working and therefore actually maintain the skill, skilled workforces that we need and to maintain the businesses themselves intact for the recovery. There needs to be a better way of doing this in order to actually pay people to work and be kept on, pay employers to keep people on, rather than pay employers to lay people off.